Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my vlog. It's Saturday early morning and you're like, what the heck is she doing? I'm up early because I have to bring my daughter to her CNA um, 7 to 3 job. Um, so um, I'm up to get ready to take an early morning um, ride to her job. So um, first I have to stop at the gas station um, and put gas in my car because, um, not my car, my daughter's car, because of course her car is, doesn't have any gas in it. So I'm gonna have to stop and put some gas in her car before I take my daughter um, to her job. So we're getting gas right now, guys, and I am, I am literally exhausted. Um, I had to bring me a coffee from home. I can wake up. guys gas check and we're off Welcome back. So, welcome back to my channel. So, I just dropped my daughter off. Needless to say, that was a little weird ride, putting it lightly. So, I was awoke, awaken, awoken, awaken. I was awakened out of my sleep um, to bring my daughter to work. Now, if my daughter Poozie's watching this, Poozie, you know you ain't right. Because Poozy came in the house all of one this morning, um, hanging out with friends or whatever. And um, how can I put this? I do at least the majority of um, the, you know, the driving when, you know, that needs to be done early morning runs and things like that because I have my own business and I work from home. Having my own business and working from home is a good and a bad thing because the good side of it is that I indeed, like I said, work from home. I process orders from home, process orders from home. I create from home. My printing and all that stuff is home. That's my home-based business, e-commerce, um, That those that are familiar with my business. I made this from my business, again, from home. That being said, a lot of people tend to take that as, oh, well, you can do everything. Wrong. I actually can do a lot of stuff, but I actually am a human being who gets tired too. Um, I'm a full-time mom. I'm a full-time grandmother. Um, I'm also a um, full-time babysitter because my daughter works in um, my grandson is at home since summer's out too. You know, my grandson's at home, so 
um, I have him for the summer and my grandbaby's out because school is out for the summer so I have her so I'm a grant I'm a full-time grant um, babysitter as well as run as as well as run a business as well as um, clean my house be a wife um, and I gotta be honest it's hard to put a little bit of sugar in each one of those baskets to fill them up but I seem to manage to do that that being said guys um, I literally all this I'm saying to say I was supposed to be going on what started out as a 15 to 20 minute ride ended up being a 30 minute ride because halfway into where I was actually more than halfway when I was literally probably like three minutes from my daughter's job I took the wrong exit I mean I kept straight instead of taking the exit now You'll be like, well, why would you do that? Have you done that? Yes, I've done it before. But have you ever done it when you just woke out of your damn sleep? When you was just up like three hours ago, went to sleep, and then was awakened by, oh, I got to bring my daughter to work. And I have no problem with that. I, you know. When I'm not doing nothing, I have no problem with, you know, getting up, doing, bringing her to work because she, you know, they're bettering, they're furthering their education, they're furthering their careers, they're doing them. So as a grandmother and as a caregiver for my, you know, while I do work from home, I don't mind it. I, you know, encourage my kids to fulfill whatever careers, um, dreams, and aspirations um, they want in life. I don't want to hold them back. I don't want to in, um, um, how do you say um, be something that prohibits them from furthering their selves, their minds, their careers, whatever they want to do. So, you know, it's like people got to, you know, People got to understand, you know, moms can do it, but we get tired too. And this is why I encouraged my kids, get your license, get your permit, do all that. That's why if you're new to this channel and you're newly subscribed, you, and, and you know, you don't know. My kids, I have seven children and at least 80% of my kids work with the exception of, I mean, um, drive and work 100% um, of my kids work 80% um, of them drive my the only one who doesn't drive is my youngest daughter and she'll be 17 and even she does um, have abilities knows how to um, maneuver the vehicle you know she knows how to do her you know her one two she hasn't got her permit yet so you know she's not out there yet but my other kids all are you know either have a permit drive or have road experience that being said i encourage that i encourage it because we live in the suburbs to be able to drive i encourage that because i didn't get my license until i was like 28 years old and the reason why is because i lived in a city up until i was about 28 years old and then I moved out to the suburbs. And when I moved to the suburbs, it's different from living in the city. Because in the city, you got you got, you got got buses, you got trains, you got the public transportation. You even got cabs. Well, when you live in the suburbs, like, well, now there's, there's Uber. So that, that's a good thing. But when I first moved out, you know, to the suburbs, it was only cabs. And, you know, so I immediately was like, uh-uh. I gotta get me my license. I gotta drive. I cannot get from here to the local supermarket, which is like freaking seven miles from my house without knowing how to drive. So I got up. I me and I never forget. I was like, me and my husband, I was like, let's go take our permit test on a Hummer. We went and took our permit test. We passed. After that, I took a, a couple of road, you know, some um, some driving lessons, and like I say. You know, shout out to that man who taught me how to drive. He was awesome. I mean, I got to be honest with you. Not to toot my own horn. Yes, I am. Toot, toot. Bang. Um, I'm a hell of a driver. Not going to lie. I literally, literally 
let me say that right because a lot of people use the word literally and they don't know how to pronounce it the word is pronounced literally and I'm going to say that because I know how to pronounce the word and I do use it often and I do know what I'm saying and I do know the definition of that word I literally can stand up and say I got skills out here on this road you feel me I could drive with the best of them in this state out of this state other states even New Jersey anybody familiar with Jersey anybody watching this vlog if you see this vlog and you 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 know you live in New Jersey then you know if you never driven in New Jersey let me tell you I thought, you know, they'd be like, oh, people in, Bur in Massachusetts drive crazy. You know, I'm from Massachusetts, so, uh, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, we drive crazy. But then you travel, and if, if you're a traveler who drives out of state, because I drive from place to place. I, I've never been on a plane before. Not to say that I never will get on a plane, but I never have been on a plane before. So, that being said, everywhere I go, I go you know I drive to those places and I've been you know I've I've you know I've gotten a you know been able to get my little travel on do want to go other places but like I said I gotta uh get up the uh to get on that plane you know I gotta tell you New Jersey and New York drivers even New York drivers because I thought New York, people are like, oh, they drive crazy in New York. The first time I drove from New York, I never forget it. I drove in New York one time, and this is when I first had got my license. And I was driving out, I was doing a road trip. And I had to drive through New York, like literally through the boroughs of New York. Like, like through, I think I was in, I forget, we was in, uh, I don't know if it was Brooklyn, or what's it? I think it was, yeah, I think it was like um, Brooklyn or, oh um, no, I think we was driving through Queens or something. And um, when I was driving, I guess to the New Yorkers liking, <laughs> I was driving like a, a outer stater, if you will, or a person who has no experience in New York on the road. Man, listen, I'll never forget this guy with bells on, pulled up like on the side of me and I was driving I was driving good but I wasn't driving fast like they drive in New York he was like get your ass out the road excuse my French I'll never forget that it was that day that I would say my driving skills turned up a notch it was like boop I said oh hell no he called me out and so he called me out I'm a Leo. Those who believe are firm believers in astronomy, astro I mean astronomy, astrology, astrological signs, things like that. You know, the sign of a Leo is the king of the jungle. We roar, you know, we're the nicest people, but we also are very, very um, competitive very very strong strength strong minded um we know what we want we usually go for what we want and we usually don't stop till we get what we want we don't like to stand down don't stand down very boisterous so that being said like i said okay i'm gonna step up my driving skills I tell you no lie, I got my whip on in New York from that point on, and then New Jersey. So what I meant to say, saying all that was, even New Jersey, I mean, even New York drivers to me have like a little bit less speed. I could be wrong and somebody may say, oh, that's not true, but New Jersey? You drive in New Jersey, you better be getting your speed on, especially on that New Jersey Turnpike. If you ever been on a New Jersey Turnpike, man, listen. Listen. They drive crazy in New Jersey. 
Jersey. No offense, Jersey, but it is what it is. People say that about Massachusetts, but yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all take the, y'all officially take the torch of um, fast driving, crazy driving, cause y'all, and I ain't gonna, I ain't mad at that, cause y'all got skills though, from what I see. Y'all, y'all maneuver that vehicle fast and all, but it's just really fast. But I like that, cause it pushes me to be even more of a better driver, cause I know when I come to Jersey, New York. I gotta be on my on my P's and Q's. So that makes me even more of a driver than I, you know, than I was. My knowledge and road skills are off the hook. Not gonna lie. So, you know, that being said, yeah, guys, um, <laughs> people be driving crazy. You know, yeah, but like I said, I missed a turn. You know, I, I had to drop my daughter off was 10 minutes late for her job because I had to go back, get off the exit, get back, go back another, go back that six miles that I had to drive to the next exit and then go back. Which she called her job. It wasn't a big thing, but it's like, I don't like being late and I don't like things, you know, me being responsible for anybody's um, tardiness. You know, it's not professional. It's very inconsiderate to say the least. Um, but I thank you guys for watching my vlog, guys. I also wanted to end this vlog by saying thank you so much for all my newly um, subscribed family to my crazy big black family on YouTube. Cheers to you. It's a cup of coffee. Let me see if I can let y'all see it. Oh, nope. It's not. Can't see it. But yeah, this is some coffee I bought from home and I threw it in my cup so I can get on the road with it but um yeah guys um cheers to the freaking weekend shout out to Rihanna guys I gotta be honest with you um it's a nice bright Saturday morning it's looking like it's gonna be another hot scorcher in Massachusetts um stay strong today guys and make sure whatever you do don't get bothered Don't be bothered. Don't get bothered. Be happy. Life's too short. How you doing? Bye, guys.